Well, look what I've gotten myself into this time. Welcome back, everybody. It's me again. And this time we're going to do my 100 sub special, the Monolith Iron Man run. And as you can see, I've already set up myself right here. Just real quick, I want to thank everybody for over 100 subscribers. Now, I think last time I checked, it was 125. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to say I wanted to make this sooner, but I got in a little sick over the past few days. So I've been kind of just taking it easy, not really doing too much. You might even hear me sniffling every now and then. But I want to thank everybody for the massive amount of support you've shown on the Freedom Playthrough. And now we're going to get started with our 100 sub special, the Monolith Iron Man run. So as you can see here, we've already kitted ourselves out. We have the heavy gas mask, the medium armor, and the VSS. This is it. This is all we can take. This is a grand total of, of um, 1,100. Now, why? Because this is going to be pretty much one of the best guns you're going to get at this point in the game. All the other options you have for hard survivalist is not good. You might make a case for the Mosin. Okay, great. You won't be able to take the, any of the armors. These are both 50. So if you take the Mosin, you have to miss out on one. And you literally cannot. It is a terrible idea. You might think any of these guns... Awful decision, awful idea. You do not want to touch any of these guns. Why? Because they're not going to kill what you need to kill at this point in the game. This gun will, especially people. Mutants, uh, not so much. I'm going to be trying to avoid mutants if all possible. So with that said, we can't take any meds. We can't take anything. We can only take this. And you're probably wondering, I, I see two lives down there. Correct. We're going to have a gimme. We're going to have a little bit of a blanket, a little bit of a safety net, just in case things go wrong. I get unlucky or, you know, a door kills me, like my something that happened in my loner run that pissed me off. <laughs> but regardless, this is what we're going to do. Now, Stalker's name, I already have the name for him. Monty Monolith. If I know how to spell right. Monolith. With that said, this is it. We're going to get started. That's it. Let's do this. Now, I just want to say that um, I'm very appreciative for all of you. If you have any recommendations for any other games or any other runs such as this, um, I'd be most appreciative. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully this uh, this run isn't just a single episode where I lose both my lives from something extremely stupid. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so with that said, once the game is done loading, we're just going to get right into it. Also, again, I apologize if I'm sniffling too much. All right. Without any, uh, without anything going on here, we're just going to equip everything. Now, real quick, if you uh, paid attention to the little pop-ups at the bottom left, See? We get this achievement right off the bat. What does this do? This pops once you've uh, disabled the Miracle Machine and the Brain Scorcher. So, why is it here? Very simple. Because there's no... I guess you could say way to make it so playing as a monolith just... You avoid, you know, the effects of the Brain Scorcher and the Miracle Machine. So the game just completely turns it off for you. Basically gives you the achievement as if you did. So you're fine. Um, now, in reality... We're going to pretend that the Brain Scorcher is still enabled, but, you know, this is the only way the game can get around it. So with that said, we have our gun right here. Don't, <laughs> don't be fooled. Um, this gun is not good against mutants. You will you will have to shoot them a ton. So I, I kind of want to avoid mutants right now, if all possible. So right now we're going to talk to Krolik, and he is going to send us to meet Stribog, which I believe is a Sin operative. Any work? 7 radio protectant, 11 boar chops, AKMS. Oh, kill abandoned garbage. I think I could do that. Mm. This is Karun. He typically has work. Not good enough work, though. 28. Oh my god. See what I mean? Any work? That's basic tools. Yeah. We are in the Palace of Culture in Pripyat. Um, if you are unfamiliar with this area, it is a late game area. So we, so you know, what better way to start off than being a complete rookie with not enough uh, gear to make it through this area? 
Hilariously so. Everyone has this misconception that Monolith is this all-powerful faction that starts with the best stuff in the game. You know, oh, you're so strong if you're Monolith. That's, that's not true. As a Monolith, you're basically as bad as every other faction. The only difference is that you have, uh... <laughs> you have a VSS and a cool gas mask that's very good, I will say. You're gonna notice one thing, though. A lot of Monoliths want bandit parts. There's not too many, um... I'll do that. There's not too many uh, quests Monolith can give you for too much else. So you're basically going to be killing people and turning in mutant parts. Look how cool the Monolith look, though. I love the HD models for them. This is Idolon. That's all I'm going to tell you about him for now, because he's a character you'll find out later in my uh, Freedom playthrough. So we're basically just gonna go out into the world, make a name for ourselves, be all hunky-dory with the situation, you know how it is. Pretty much no one here is gonna join me. Oh, that's sparkling water for free, though. But yeah, um, so with that said, we're just gonna go out now. And everybody, uh, let me formally introduce you to Pripriot. Look at this place. Very scary place. We're talking top mutants in the zone. Top fighters in the zone being Monolith. But, you know, that's our faction, so we'll be fine. We're going to take this slow and steady. One wrong move can mean the end of us. Easily. Easily. So we don't want to uh, be on the receiving end of all that. We, at the moment, want to avoid mutants like the plague. This gun is not good against them. If we are fighting anything above, like, a dog, even, we are going to be in trouble. It only has ten rounds. And let me just say that these bullets aren't good against mutants, so it might take a full magazine to kill them. By the way, if you notice back there, you're probably like, man, that place seemed very cold, very sterile. Like, all, all of them just standing around doing nothing, no one talking, no nothing. Yeah, that's the monolith. We're just a hive mind. Hive mind cultists. No individuality, no no nothing. So with that said, that's all we are. Now the only other faction in the game who even uh, puts up with us is gonna be Sin. Look at that mutant up there. A little freaky. Well, I'm just gonna start running. I don't wanna deal with any mutants right now. I'm just gonna book it to outskirts. Outskirts is basically just the outskirts of Pripyat, to put it simply. I don't want to get, you know, clawed by a cat, basically. Have one of my legs break to black, and that's it. I have to spend the whole rest of the game uh, playing with basically a broken leg, right? <laughs> that would be terrible. I have no medicine. I have no med kits, no yodelin, no ibuprofen. If I get hurt, I'm standing by a campfire to heal. That is it. That is my only option to heal. Well, this is going to be scary. And I'm no... I do not call myself a pro at this game either. I do not. So, I am going to be very <laughs> cautious. I don't know how long this series is going to last. I don't. But I'll say one thing. I'm going to try my best. I promise. I'm going to really try... This sucks. See this? That is a merc camp. With gunshots over there. But I need to do it. For the money. Because I'm broke. I have only 58, if I include the 10 in the, in the magazine. 58 rounds. I'm screwed. So... I really have to be as careful as possible. The only saving grace is that if I encounter Sin, I'm fine. And I'm going to be honest. Sin is my most annoying enemy type to fight in this game. I hate fighting Sin. So not, not fighting Sin is awesome. Oh, that's gunshots. That's gunshots. Gunshots make me scared. I'm just a little monolith. It, 
psychologists and bandits. You're seeing the problem, right? Duty, ecologists, bandits. Where I need to go? <laughs> You're probably wondering, yeah, what are you doing in this situation? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm wondering the same thing. Plus, look, the infamous bushes that I love so much. However, bandits and duty are killing each other for me. That's nice. Something. Those are dogs. Fighting mercs. Yeah, this is fun. Um, <laughs> so one side, one over here. I don't know what side that is, though. It's an ecologist. Now, don't... Ecologists will shoot you. They are not friendly to, to, to Monolith. They will shoot you and they will kill you. Ecologists are scary. Don't let the whole, like, oh, ecologists are pacifist shit fool you. They'll murder you. Navigate these fields real quick. Ah, oh, I thought it'd be somewhere over here. Nope, it's further in. Now, my gas mask though. Look at that radiation protection. Along with, you know, my suit's radiation protection, of course, but still amazing. So it I don't have to worry about radiation at all, which is actually kind of insane. I hate bushes. Now, if you don't know, <laughs> the AI can see through bushes. Like, like, easily. Like, the bushes don't exist for AI, only for you. I do think it's a little ridiculous, especially for, like, situations like this where, you know, they'll just see me and I die. But I'm gonna wait. Because I think they might be coming over here. Because I was a master ecologist. If you don't know, the rank of a stalker affects their uh, skills. It affects how likely they are to hit you. They're on the other side of this wall. There's a Merc detachment in that building, too. What do I do? What do I do? And there's dogs, too. Dead bandit. A few dead bandits. Dead loner. I can grave rob. Functional barrel. That is huge.
they are in the building, so I don't think they can notice that I'm out here. Oh! What a find! Okay, I gotta get back now. Did I loot these guys? No, I didn't. I'll be quick. Wow. I don't... Okay, never mind. This is scary. Okay, we're leaving. That's it. That's a victory. That's a victory! Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's not be too hasty. I gotta be careful. I'm sweating right now. Okay, all it takes is one mistake. That's it. All it takes is one of those mercs to see me, and that's it. I'm outgunned, I'm outmanned, I'm under armored, and I'm dead. I have no meds either, so it's not like I can just out heal or do anything like that. I just have bandages. Oddly enough, it's this little stairway and door. Oh my god! <laughs> what a start! Oh, what a start. A whole bunch of bodies to loot. whole bunch of things to get. Wow. You gotta take those. I was so scared that there was someone over there. <sighs> All right. Oh well. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Let's uh. Let's go return some stuff back to a stash. So what did we get? We got this shotgun. What did I get? What part did I get? I field stripped a part. I thought. Did I not? What? Oh, there it is. It's still fake. It's still fa- wait, I didn't favorite this. Oh, I- I marked it as favorite, that's why I didn't feel so- okay. What is this? A trigger. Broken trigger mechanism! Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> Damage bolt sucks though! It's fine, it's fine, it's so fine, you know why? Cause we just got a shotgun. A really crappy ah, shotgun. But it's something, man. Like, it'll, it does full damage. It'll kill mutants. Oh, I just loaded a lot of ammo. What the hell is that? What is in this? Did I just put slugs in this? Or, or buckshot? Is that buckshot? I hope it was. No, I think it's slugs. Wait. Am I? What am I? What's going on? I'm putting in buckshot. I just clicked buckshot. I. What is going on here? That's weird. I have no idea what's in this shotgun right now. Oh my god, let me unload this. Buckshot and AP slugs? That makes no sense. Let's put in two buckshot! What is going on? Whatever. I have no idea what's going on. That's bad. We're running. We're running. 
I, I can't get hit right now. I don't have the means to survive. That's how we get out of that situation. Not ironically, man. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. I can't even load my shotgun properly. I'm ready to use my double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh my god look at this Oops. 15.9 R if only my shells would load properly Let's hope uh, there's not a cat waiting for me the second I go back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when your life is constantly on the line, it's a lot different than just, you know, oh, I got hurt, whoopsie-daisy, let me just walk it off, and, you know, shrug that shit off. No, man, like, <laughs> I'm in danger, dude. Like, I'm I'm in danger, danger. <laughs> But, oh my god, like it's a it turns into a horror game, like a proper horror game. Doesn't help that I don't even know what freaking ammo I have in this thing. It, it wants to like load different ammos at the same time or something. It's being strange. You know what? I want to test something out. I unloaded my shotgun and my shells disappeared. What happened? I shot one shot and I had two sh I guess we're loading slugs. <laughs> what the hell? There's stuff in here I could loot. Ammo. I'd love some medicine. Like some Yodelin or Ibuprofen. What I'd really like... Ooh, water. I'd nice. I'd like that. What I'd really like is a chain artifact. Ooh, how many? Three? That's better than slugs for mutants. Look at this. I'm... The game is bugged right now or something. What is going on? Drop the shells. Drop them. I mean the slugs. Yeah, I'm literally loading in like I don't want to do that. I don't I've never had this happen to me before. Why is this happening? That's so weird. That is so strange. I don't want that happening. Just load me in buckshot. If I wanted slugs, I would have wanted, you know, I would have specified to load in the slugs. Okay. Now let's return our stuff. We still have a few broken parts on this, uh, on this shotgun. Where? What the hell? There's a controller? I need to get back to the Palace of Culture. Oh, here's the famous uh, Ferris wheel. Seeing all the promotional material and even Stalker 2's trailer. It's really cool. I mean, it's also, you know, the real-life Ferris wheel as well. Or at least a recreation of it, I believe so. Stay away from the, uh, Electro Anomaly. The quicker I back get back to the Palace of Culture, the quicker I have my Anomaly buddies to shoot at things bothering me. Like that guy right there. A little monolith patrol. Thank god they exist. 
Y you have no friends. Like, your friends are your enemies. Your enemies are your friends in this mode. Because that monolith right there, that would, you know. Ooh. Did he find something? Because whatever these guys kill, that like, they're my loot. Okay, well. First of all, turn in this quest for some money. From my Dolon. Look at that. Almost six grand. That's great. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Military. Okay, I got radio frequency packages. The monolith are gonna let me in on, I suppose. I have one flesh meat I can give. Where is that guy? <laughs> there he is. Hi. How much? 500. That's something. All right. Now, there's a stash down here that I'm going to put my stuff in for now. Where is it? There it is. I'll put all this away. Clear out some space. So in my free Freedom playthrough, I made a point saying, hey, don't sell these, disassemble them. You never know. Sell these things as a monolith, for Christ's sake. You need all the money you can get. Let's see. But we got a stash. That's great. Now we sell it. 600. That's it. 600. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Anything I could sell? I don't need anomaly maps. Uh, that's busted. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Alright, so... Um... Here's the problem. We have a damaged bolt, so I'm gonna need... A bolt. Uh, any work? I already asked you, didn't I? Yeah, you want me to kill military. Alright, let's see. Do you have anything I'd like... You have medicine. Buy two Yodelin. Oh, the price of one med kit. I have one, but I'd like another. Well, it's technically two. And I'll buy some buckshot, I guess. Look at how much I'm bleeding myself dry, though. Look, I just. All the money I just earned. But now we have more buckshot. Okay. <laughs> it's something. The gun is in awful condition, though. It's probably going to jam a whole ton on me, but there's nothing I could do about that right now. It's under 30%, and I only have a 50 and a 60% repair. I need a bolt and a pump. So an R bolt and a guard pump. That's an R bolt. That's an R-bolt as well. That R-bolt is better. Um, actually, is it the same? No, it's a different. It's completely different. Okay. A few things here. Don't do that. <laughs> it scares me. All right. All this is going to be kept here for now. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's uh, time to go back out in the world. As terrifying as that is, uh, do not favorite. Mark all the patches as junk. Same thing I did last time. Oh, we have some other stuff to sell, actually. Sell this stuff. Get some money back. There we go. There we go! Yay! Uh, food is going to be another thing that's going to be hard to come by. 
I also got this Hercules, which is nice. It's gonna save me in a pinch. I should probably buy some food. So that's twelve hundred. That's seven twenty. It's fifteen hundred. Seven seventy-five. So one fourteen. It's two ninety-two. That's a good. That's good. Buy just one of those. All right. Now we go into the world. Renegade killed by a pseudo giant, appropriate north of the monolith base. So there's a pseudo giant on our hands. Yay! Hey! You gotta love it. Welcome to the monolith playthrough, everybody. We're gonna have a lot of uh, interesting uh, things like this happening. So if you're wondering north, that means probably the uh, stadium. Long story short, in very simple terms, fuck that place. We're not going there. Instead, we're gonna go to radar. We gotta go south. We gotta kill people. We gotta murder a ton of people and take their stuff. It's the only way we're gonna get anywhere in this game. Of course, missions, but the problem with missions is right now, they're not good. You see some of what they're asking me for, right? However, Monolith isn't just inappropriate. Monolith is elsewhere too, so that's why I want to go to Radar, see what they want me to do, then go to Red Forest and see what they want me to do. Plus, I have to go to Red Forest. Yeah, I have to go to Red Forest. So first things first, I'm going to go to Radar. So Radar, I can meet with other Monoliths, see if I can do some jobs, and then I can go to Red Forest and meet with the Sin. That is, if I don't die by... Um, any other faction prowling about that'll just murder me in two shots, waste one of my two lives. This little, um, ooh, look at that stash, but it's way out of the way. We're going to be running from mutants. Like, just a spoiler. That's Our main mutant strategy is run like hell. Excuse me. Yeah, you know, as tempting as those corpses sound... You know what? No, it's not. It's really not worth it. Because if I get wrapped up in the pseudo giant, then all hell breaks loose, right? But I am curious. There was renegades, now there's monolith. And I can leave that area, and the pseudo giant will not pursue me past a certain point. Yeah, people have this weird idea that the Monolith playthrough is like, everyone hates you, but you get some of the best stuff in the game. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, you don't. You get a VSS. If you play as, if you play on Taurus difficulty, you get a, an AK Monolith, which is great, but I don't want to play on easy. We're go I know I talked- I tried to talk myself out of it, but I'm going over here. So if you don't know, when factions ask for help at the bottom left, like, Hey, we're being under attack. That's- they only send that message when one of their squad, uh, dies. Meaning, as you can see, the pseudo giant is more or less completely beating the shit out of the monolith. Here's the thing, though. I don't know if there's multiple. If there's multiple, then my ass is getting the hell out of here. If there's one, I might be able to find a cute little perch. Or lead it at least this far where this guy gets involved. But here's the thing I don't like about pseudo giants in this mod. The slam attack is unavoidable. I've tried jumping it. I've tried being far away. Farther away just means it does less damage. It doesn't actually... Uh, 
it still hurts you to an extent. You're not just immune to it. Welcome to the stadium. At least what's left of it. There's the pseudo giant. Oh god. Ah, oh, I see the bodies. What if I'm, like, up here? Will it still be able to get me? Will it try to come up here? Only one way to find out. This is such a bad idea. Oh, it's injured! It is injured! Whoa! Never in my life have I been happy to see you! Oh my god, I can't skin this body because I- oh, I do?! How? I don't have a good knife for it. Where is it? Yeah, this knife shouldn't be able to skin pseudo-giants. What? Oh my god! Dark Stalker Brothers! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so elated to see you. Oh, a renegade. Random renegade down the wild. Wow. I was just thinking to myself, all right, how, how am I going to do this? Then boom, dark stalkers. No way, man. Look at all this stuff, too. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Holy crap. A legend? A legend monolith. Oh, my goodness. You bet your ass we're slowly crawling back. To the palace of culture to put this stuff away? Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't loot this guy either. Look at that! <laughs> I I literally was like screwed, and then I was like, oh, he's injured, and then dark stalkers for no reason. <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> I'm I'm so elated right now. That is the craziest thing ever. I got a monolith prayer. Oh my god. And look, Sewer Giant Hand and I. That's good money right there. Oh, <laughs> oh you can't be serious. That just happened. I mean, I probably would have been able to kill him if he got closer. But just to hear the gunshot, see the Sewer Giant fall, and see that it was Sin. Oh. So, just to, so Dark Stalkers were like a, uh, like a folklore in Stalker or whatever, like a campfire story, like, oh, Legends of a Dark, the Dark Stalkers. Sin are the Dark Stalkers. They're a cut faction from the originals, along with, uh, Unisig or UNISG, and, and, uh, no, not Renegade. Renegade was in, uh, Clear Sky? But they were only in Clear Sky. They were basically swamp bandits. That's it. They were bandits in the swamps. That's all they were. Oh, look at those beautiful friggin' bastards. Also, Sin is exponentially harder to fight, in my opinion, than Monolith. Because your bullets do, like, no damage to them. You have to shoot them a whole bunch of times to kill them. They have, like, some kind of technology or something that just absorbs bullets. Kind of like the Empty Artifact. Alright, there has to be a better stash than that one downstairs. If there is, I'm going to start using it. Oh boy, oh boy. Does anyone want this? These parts? 
Uh, oh, Sin wants is gonna give me some jobs. No free stalkers in the outskirts. They're scary. He needs two pseudo giant eyes. Come on, man. You kidding me? Ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, let me hoist myself up here. Any stash? Any stash at all? Hey guys. Glory to the monolith, am I right? Uh, I can't believe there's no stash out here. Oh, that's a box I can open, I think. No, it's not. Wait, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, I guess we're slowly meandering to... Uh... Sorry, I'm just... I'm really trying to see if there's another stash than the one all the way downstairs. It's going to make... Putting things away so much worse. But I don't think so. But all this stuff I just got. Holy crap. Plus a pseudo giant arm and an eye. Which if like Captain freaking asshole over here wasn't asking for two of them would net me good money. I wish those lockers counted as stashes but they don't. did shoot some bullets though but I do have I did pick up some more plus I got some sp6 which is great against people that's gonna be like I could pretty much pen anything however this are uh, this bullet does have very low velocity so I do have to lead shots if they're running oh thank god all right take those grenades actually those are gonna help in a pinch look at this look at this already man Put all the ammo away that I'm not using. Ammo ways. Quite a lot. Wow. What a start! Like, unironically, what a freaking start, man. A browning high power. Um, I don't have, like, any parts for these guns, I think, though. Oh, this has a good barrel. This SVT has a good barrel. What the hell? If I am able to get this fixed up through any means, that is going to be insane. I need a class D repair kit, but it has a good barrel. So if I just find the parts out in the wild, I could just drag and drop them. Okay, let's see. I need to not mark the gun as favorite, but mark the parts. So I need the gas tube. The bolt. Uh, everything else. Just everything. I need everything. Besides the barrel. The barrel's fine. There. Now all the parts are favorited. Or at least they should be. Ah, man. Got some other guns that are kind of cool, I guess, but nothing as cool as that, man. Like, that's insane. Oh, I got a Type C uh, cleaning kit, too. Nice. Got a ramrod, which is used to clean barrels, I think. I don't need to carry that on me. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah. I have an encrypted PDA, yep, pay the 500, take a look at it. Nothing. So... I'll t yeah, I got paid for itself. Alright, now I could sell these parts for pennies compared to what I can do for quest rewards. So instead, we're gonna, I'm actually gonna keep that rope, we're gonna sell this stuff. Now you're probably like, eh, actually, you know what? You're right. If you if you were thinking that, I'm just gonna sell that because the PDAs I can get stuff from, but these are still important. These are still important to keep around. All right, so the voices winning, <laughs> causing me to go to the stadium, actually paid off quite a lot. Just a double check. 
can't believe it. Two pseudo giant eyes. Wild. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. Pay, it pays to be risky. High risk, high reward. Now we gotta leave. We gotta get out of here. We had our fun in the stadium. We had the Dark Stalkers bail us out, essentially. Now we gotta go. Hey, brother. Minimal edits, by the way, in this series, I think, because it's Iron Man, people might be curious. What the hell is this all about? To see uh, what happens at most moments. So, like I said, I'm going to try to keep editing to a minimal. Truly just going to cut out parts so that is nothing happening, like just running back and forth with no interruption, no... You know, you know, nothing like that. But for these little runs, I think I will keep them in. Because, you know, it's not going to be for a while until my freedom playthrough I get to appropriate. So, I think showing off the place, you know, especially with the winter mod. Because a lot of people that play Inverno Stalker that I've seen at least that don't listening out that don't get too far in their playthroughs you know they don't show off Pripyat or Chernobyl or stuff like that or if they do they just cut straight to it with a bunch of cool gear there's no slow burn there's no big build up and you know there sure there isn't in a monolith playthrough because you're playing as them but it's a good snapshot of what you're going to be seeing later the enemies you'll be facing later the areas you'll be going through We're just going to go. Half-Life 2 slash like Gary's mod ass sound effect. Hey look, our first taste of actual radiation with our, uh, with our radiation protection we have. That's a little crazy. Don't get used to it because we're actually not going to be getting... Oh, thank god. And we're actually not going to be getting irradiated that often. Very rarely, in fact. You guys have anything for me? Kill a guy, kill military and Drupal. You know what? I'll accept it for the sake of it, right? Like. Hey, bud. Alright, let's 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 get the hell out of here. Oh, after radar. Radar, if you're wondering, is at the barrier of freedom. Uh, I mean, army warehouses. Um, in my very first episode of my freedom playthrough, where you saw me shoot some uh, monolith, that's where the barrier was. So I'm going to where that area transition would be. Not exactly, it's just the area after that area transition. So this entire map, essentially. In the original uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, this was called Red Forest. But in the Gamma Mod, we have like a proper red forest area now, so. Now, to my experience, we should only be encountering fellow Monolith here. If we don't and I die by some like Freedomer or some loner cruising about, I'm actually going to be kind of pissed off over it. We're going to skirt the outskirts of these anomalies here. Ah! Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm I'm so I'm so like just just on edge. They're just mutants though. Well, I mean. You know, unironically, if you can hurry up and kill that guy so I can loot him. That is a pseudo giant.
I don't think I'm safe even at this elevation. I have no idea. I think I am. Funnily enough. Yeah. He would already be coming for me if I wasn't. Oh, wow. Look at that's all it takes. This is how you counter pseudo giants. What a world. Yeah, radar. Ooh, nice. Radar's still scary, though. Bye. Can I just. Go back into Red Forest, or at least the Red Forest portion of Radar. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, go away! Oh, this is annoying. See, when the AI can't get to you, um... They they just go go away basically essentially they they fuck off. This was a trainee monolith if I remember correctly by looking at this little rank. not bad. I'll take that. Alright. Up, up, and away. Alright, well that was fun. I had a, that was amazing to deal with. So I gotta be a little careful because there is anomalies all up in these roads here. Like look, there's a, you can barely see it. There's a flame anomaly right there. There's another electro right, right in front of me. You gotta be very careful going up this road. You should be monolith, yep. Oh, nice. Stuff. Oh, stuff. I love stuff. Look, you can barely see it again, but there's another uh, flame or scorcher anomaly. I'm really trying to thread the needle here. There we go. Stalkers will not trigger anomalies, so... You never have to worry about something like that happening. Trying to pay attention, make sure I'm not accidentally walking into an anomaly. Okay, brothers. Uh, that guy looks like he's walking in place, but, you know, life's a bitch like that. Alright, let's go. So, if you're wondering what my plan of action is, we are going to go to Red Forest through this direction. Now, in all honesty, I don't <laughs> really want to, per se, but... It might be the quickest way, but it's also in, like, prime time mutant territory, so I might think I might think about it once I get there. But I mainly want to go to the monolith encampment at the radar. Um, I just about arrived. Now, the last time I ever played a monolith run... The game had a funny sense of humor where because I wasn't an enemy of the monolith, there was no one here. But when you are an enemy of the monolith, there's like 500,000 people here. So. Okay, I hear walking, so there's people here at least. There's a break in the fence, like, yeah, right there in the wall. Hi guys. Okay, let's see what you got for me. 
nothing? Ugh. I can at least grab someone as a follower. Is there anyone over here? Yeah, there is. None of you guys got stuff for me to do at all? You sure? No. What a load of crap. I think there is something in this house, though. I thought wrong. Alright, well, that sucks. No need to go into X-19. We don't... We're, we're, our job is protecting the Brain Scorcher, not turning it off. Even though, you know, technically it is already turned off, but, you know, we'll just not talk about that. Alright, to Red Forest we go. Okay, Red Forest is the first area in the game. Um, we might actually have problems. Sure, Sin is mainly here with some monolith, but the other the other factions like being here too. My my headphones just told me battery level low. I <laughs> I don't think I don't think uh, OBS picked it up, but if it did, that'd be pretty funny. I just plugged them back in. I'm gonna play with them plugged in. Didn't realize they were dying on me. That was pretty funny though. If it the recording picked that up. Alright. Well, pretend that was my PDA. Oh, God. Red forest in winter time, huh? So, first thing you're going to notice. Radiation. Fortunately. Radiation in red forest is uh, pretty common. So, we're just going to preemptively smoke a ciggy. And get on our merry way. Same rules apply. We're mainly wanting to be avoiding mutant encounters. That's a radar anomaly. We don't want to go near there, long story short. So this place is awful. First and foremost, this place is absolutely goddamn terrible. But I believe there is a sin encampment this way. Sound like they're fighting something. I'm sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting your day. Sin bros, have fun. Have fun over there, dude. Like. The one slight saving grace in Red Forest is you can use anomalies to your advantage to fight mutants. That's about it, though. This place is a dangerous place for both you, other stalkers, and that's about it, actually. Um, Monolith killed by a cat? Come on. Get real. I don't really have any bolts for, for navigation, so I'm kind of just going going off by sight and sound. If I get caught in a whirly gig, there's a slight chance I can get out of it, but I'm not going to be counting on it. Okay. I'm just going to scan a little bit, see if I can see any mutants. Yeah, welcome to... Uh, Welcome to Red Forest, everybody. I'm sure it's a absolutely calming walk through the park. Mercenaries are getting into a fight over here. That's scary. Shit. How 
is that? Oh. Oh, what? What do you mean I saved your life? You're dead! You're dead, dead. Like, you're, you're toast. It's over for you. <laughs> like, that's how dead you are. I'm gonna drink some sparkling water. I found it for free, so why not? <laughs> you saved my life as it's like completely, like very, very dead. Who is that? Oh, it's Sin. Thank God. If Sin was hostile to Monolith 2, this this playthrough would be absolutely diabolically difficult. What is that? Is that a lurker? Looks stuck though. I guess I'll stay to the right. Lurkers are awful. They will like two shot you. Like without even trying, they will two shot you. Okay, stay away from the radar anomalies. They work off your uh, psi health. I, ra I sprinted into one completely by accident on my loner playthrough, and it I just died. But luckily, you know, you can kind of skirt them. You don't have to, like, be too, too picky. Okay. Getting close to, like, the sin base. Doesn't mean I'm out of the woods. I don't know why my game is hitching so much here. That's a sin. A dead sin. Oh, that's a unisig. I don't think I can do this. I do have an idea, though. So where I need to go. It's over there. Now, if I go over there and get the attention of the Unisig, then kind of duck away real quick in the mines, cause them to come in there and fight the Sin, I might be okay. However, that was a Master Unisig, and they have some of the best equipment in the entire game. So I have to approach with extreme caution. And then if they see me, I just have to run. Hope I can get away in time. my ears open as well that little lighting was from the hanging moss or grass or whatever the fuck it's called I forget the name of it I'm in an anomaly field a small one but one regardless oh sin hi do you not Ugly. see the You know, see the, the psychopathic unisig guys over there? That only me? Are you guys gonna go over there and deal with them? That military? This military this far too? Jeez. It's right at the gate, I thought. Okay, well, I'll come back there later. First steps first, go into the mine. Oh, thank god, there should only be sin in here. Yep, this is a sin base. I don't know what your problem is, dude, but you're kind of freaking me out. You guys look cool. Ghost anomaly. 
you. I'm talking to you, Strabog, right? Come to see you. Army warehouses. Ugh. You work. Equipment. Nothing great, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, they're fighting. Honestly? Well, I have the chance I should go get in on it. But first, see what, uh, see what jobs I can do. <sighs> Nothing good. I don't have any patches. You are tripping me out, bud. Need to help out the sinners. was a master though I think that's uh, the first time on uh, on one of my recordings I even seen a unisig even sin honestly I'm talking about them like they're like whatever hey you know hey there's sin but no uh, these guys are rare they're rarities around these parts there he is he's over there Ah, damn it. I do want to go over here. I don't want to just... Leave. There's too many bodies. I could cut and run and call it a day, but... I have an idea. Okay, so that guy should mm, be pursuing me, I think. Let's retreat back into the mine. Load up on SP6 just in case. I think I can even, like... Uh, it's too low. What is that sound? I wish I could have an escort squad or something like that. Especially on this. Okay, but I shot that guy. Thought he should be pursuing me into here. <sighs> oh god. I don't even know, it wasn't the guy I was even shooting at! Get me out of here, help me! I don't know if I even killed that exosuit guy or not.
Where are any of them? I can't see them. Well, that's a sin. Did I accidentally try to blow up a exosuited sin? Am I in trouble? I feel like I might be in trouble. That's a pulse over there. If I accidentally tried to blow up an exosuited sin, and they shoot me and kill me, I'll take it. I am so scared. What the hell? <laughs> I don't, I don't trust any of this. It's an amazing gun. The guy I threw the grenade at is over there. Ooh, that's a good gun. Oh, nice! I got a sleeping bag. Thank God. Okay, so I'm not gonna carry all this. There should be a stash somewhere here. No? Really? I know, just quick saves don't really do anything for me anymore, but that's fine. Now, if I remember somewhat correctly... There should be a stash over by Forrester. Forrester is basically like the butcher of the north. Is it because a monolith? It's because a monolith, ain't it? Oh no! Shit! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. Nothing in the lockers. Oh boy, I'm sweating. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened. I don't even know if my grenade killed that guy. Hope it did. I need a stash. Ooh. Oh, this works. Back of this car. I'm going to mark it. I can't spell. Okay, I... Uh, whatever. I'll remember. I'll know what I'm talking about. I thought that was a guy. Oh my god. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm just... Trying to focus here. Ooh, nice. More grenades, always good. 
You were a legend, free stalker. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I need that ammo. Look at all this stuff I'm getting. What's this? <gasps> That's something you only find late game. What I just found is the recipe to craft an exo repair kit. Where is it? Look at that. Now I know. You literally, even with your expert tools, you cannot craft an exo repair kit unless you, uh, unless you find that booklet. And I just found one. That's amazing. I mean, I highly doubt we're going to get there, but hey, if we do, that would be awesome. That's all I'm going to say. I think I might take this gun with me. This condition's bad, but it looks really good. What, is it, what does it need? It needs a DASA. Mm. Probably take it with me anyways. Put a bunch of this stuff away for now. Alright, now let's go get some of the other stuff. I think uh, my grenade actually did kill, kill that exo guy. I think it might have. He definitely would have been shooting at me, I feel like. What was that? Nice. Okay, I looted all these bodies. I loot this guy? Yeah. Hey, Arms of Protector. The most recent gun I think I got um, on my Freedom playthrough. If you've been watching that, I recently upgraded to that. Mama's Beads. I could put that away. Actually, I'm not gaining radiation. Well, I mean, I still am technically, but not enough where it matters. So I can think I can put it on my belt. What does it give me? Uh, it's not that good. I'm worried still. This game's conditioned me to never trust anything. Anything. You trust something, you die what this game's ingrained into me. So I'm going to tentatively check this area. Is that him? Oh my god. I it was. Oh <gasps> no way. I'm too heavy! Yet. Um, Hercules. Probably not the best time to use something like this, but... I might st I'm still too heavy! My god. Okay. Field strip the bolt and drop that. There we go. Look at that. That's all. That's already it minus the radiation prote uh, protection better than my freaking gas mask in terms of protection. Protection. Oh, this car is about to get full. Wow. Look at this. Look at all this I already got just from grave robbing. Literally being a dirty freaking grave robber. I need these glow sticks actually until I get a flashlight. So I'm gonna hang on to them. Man, holy crap. Uh, I'm going to mark these so I have them. Look at this, I already have more <laughs> patches than I do on my freedom character. Oh my god. Look at the situation I'm in. I'm too heavy for all this stuff. So you know what I need to do? I need to carry only what is necessary at the moment. 
come back for the rest. Because a lot of my weight is actually being taken up by, like, this stuff. But as long as I remember that it's here, I should be fine. So, right now, I'm going to take that. Because that's immediately useful for stuff I can make soon. Um, I got two of these. Only one of them has good, like, okay parts. This AEK, if I can fix up, will probably be my long-term weapon. Or this, but I don't know. I think the monolith use NATO weapons, primarily. Kind of like freedom. I'm gonna need the parts. This is upgraded. This has a work working barrel and it has an alter it has other parts off those that I can strip potentially. But long story short, I'm gonna take this with me. What do I need? I need DASA. Hmm. Mmm, that sucks. Because the other stuff is fine. But yeah, that's going to be good. What? What's? Can I put a, a suppressor on this? No, it doesn't seem like it. It does not seem like I can. So I'll just take the ammo for now. Put that there put this here there we go so look at this look at this thing never mind i don't need a suppressor it has one that is a awful red dot what the hell that sucks can i take it off no what look at this thing this thing is awful <laughs> all right whatever yeah uh, look what uh, we already got so far. That's wild. Um, and we barely... We barely... I don't even think we killed anyone yet. Let's view these PDAs. Oh, nice. Access denied. Alright. Okay. So, that's where we're at right now. Let's see. Anything else before I forget? I'm gonna put these... I'm gonna keep these weapon parts, actually. You never know. <laughs> Alright. So what do we have to do? Oh, there's a stash! Nice! There's a stash there, too. What's this? Oh, that's the mutants we had to kill in the mine. Right! Okay. First off, let's get that stash. Oh, look. No. <gasps> Ooh, that gun looks nice. I love seeing green parts, let me tell you. Okay, just enough space. Oh, my God. Dude, I am out of room. Okay, I need to bring some stuff to take with me. Probably the big machine gun to save some room. Functional barrel. Need NATO. Okay, bolt. Yes, carrier. Only thing you have is a good barrel. So I can fix up this thing. I could have a 556 five, fully automatic weapon. What does it need? 7LA, NATO, NATO, 3 mod. This has a 2 mod. Yeah. I'll take this one. For now, of course. Take all the suppressors off. Take the suppressors from each gun. 
in the scopes. Um, those are quite valuable. At least qu for quick money. Can't take the scope off this. It's part of the gun. Alright, let's go. Oh, boy. Can't believe I just killed that master Unisig. It's just a single grenade, man. I might as well take the shovel, sell it. That's a gunshot I just heard. Doesn't make me happy. Can't take the suppressor off that. Double checking everybody. More people, man. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of weapon parts. Okay, we're just going to meander now. So we're heavy again. My Hercules is about to run out soon. We're just... I'm not even going to kid myself. We're running. Gotta cover as much distance as fast as possible here. I can't believe the amount of stuff we're getting so far, though. This is insane. There's just battles that I'm just coming at the tail end of. I thought that was a body for some reason. I thought it was, like, legs. Alright, there's some... Yeah, okay. Please don't make me, like, unable to walk. Okay. I, for a small second, I thought I, he, he was gonna let, he was gonna follow me. I really did think that because it, uh, I don't know. I don't think as a rookie you can recruit anyone. I think you have to be at least trainee to recruit people. Why are you still stuck? There should be no reason. You're really freaking me out, but I like your your outfit looks cool. I love the skull mask you got going on. Hello again. <laughs> Just little old monolith on me. You yeah, come on, guys. I'll light the campfire for you. Don't worry. There you go. Oh, there it is. Uh, the ammo kind of sucks, but I'll take everything else. Put everything here for now. I don't take the hydroshock? Because I think I swear there was some there. Okay. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I took the UMP, this is actually an amazing mutant killer because it fires hydroshock. What is... What What do you want from me? Alright. Um, I'm going to sell these suppressors. No point in trying to use one now. Well, maybe I'll keep one for the... Uh, for the ADAR. But if this, if this lasts long enough, I could I could repair it. Alright, now time to sell some stuff. Uh, 
All right. What? I swear. Oh, he doesn't accept this kind of stuff. Boo. Friggin' boo. I'll keep that industrial grease then. Oh. What? What? I didn't realize how expensive that is. Holy crap, I just sold that for 17 grand. And I already read one, so it's not like I lost out anything. I just made 17 grand right there. Holy crap! Now time to sell all this for a ton of money too. Oh my god! Hell yeah, man! What the hell? <laughs> nice! That's awesome! Do you have any of my ammo? You do not. You have some buckshot though. I'll take some buckshot. What? That's that's huge. That's insane. I can buy I can buy a headlamp. I can buy a headlamp now immediately. I don't need these glow sticks anymore. Wow, look at that. Let's uh decode this PDA. I don't know. I don't remember which one it is. Yep, okay, great. Now let's sell them. I cannot? Oh, is it because I'm holding them? No, oh, that's weird. Strange. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. Honestly, that's wild. That is insane. Unfortunately, I can't buy more ammo, but I do have five grenades. They do weigh a little bit, but that's five grenades. Why am I? I'm still heavy, though. I gotta put away some of this junk, I think. I should buy the thing that lets me craft the next tier of backpacks like this stuff. There. All right. But, obviously, I don't have tools, so it'll be a while. Let me read that monolith prayer. Just to add it to my articles. Alright, anything I could do? No, sir. Not right now. Alright, this is what we got going on. We have a few of these we can end up selling. Right. We're a little heavy right now, unfortunately. I think we can... Disassemble these. Yeah, those save some space, definitely. Put these away for now. Don't need that. Assemble that. Assemble this. There we go. Okay, we're going somewhere. We're going to get places now. And we got a bedroll! We got a bedroll. Or a sleeping bag. Crazy. Alright. Um. Yeah, I think... I think this is where we're going to add part one. This has actually been an extremely I'm lucky start, there. all things considered. I didn't die. That is already fucking awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, with that said, this has been part one of the uh, Monolith Iron Man. We're going to see how, what the, Ooh, the fuck, fuck is going on here. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that doesn't exist. Okay, wait, wait, before we end this part... Let's, uh, break some barrel boxes first. Okay, underwear and brubles. Anything in here that I missed? Just could do a quick sweep. Because I know for a set, for a fact that when I load the save, I'm not going to check this area. Okay, ammo. Alright, let's come back here. I'm probably going to remember that. Um, but just in case, I'll put a pin. Alright, yeah, but this has been the first, uh, episode of the 100 Sub Special Monolith Iron Man playthrough. If you enjoy, please support this playthrough. It'll help me so much. And also, uh, check out my Freedom playthrough. I'm doing a Hard Survivalist Freedom playthrough. It's just normal. It's not going to be Iron Man, but I'm going to see how long this can go for. I have one death as a crutch, and then after that, it's game over when I die. So with that said... Everybody, this has been the uh, 
Monolith, Iron Man, play through part one. This has been me. Take it easy, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>